Hello, I'm Monica Riccelli, and today I will demonstrate how to do WebLogic configuration overrides. WebLogic Docker images containing the application, their main configuration, and resources are immutable. That means to keep the portability of these Docker images between the environments of development to testing to production, we need a way to be able to override certain aspects of the WebLogic domain configuration. And this mechanism is what we call configuration overrides. Today I will be demonstrating how to override the JDBC data source credentials and data source URL. The first step is, is to create a configuration map that contains the override templates with the configuration uh, changes for the data source. I will create a Kubernetes secret that contains the username and data source URL. I will set in my domain custom resource configuration overrides and the name of the configuration map. And then I will restart my domain and show how the configuration overrides have taken place in the domain running in Kubernetes. So first I want to show the pods that I have running with the WebLogic domain, an admin server and two managed servers. Let's go to the WebLogic's admin console and there you can see I have an admin server and two managed servers. I have also a data source and let me see the connection pool. You can see that the user is Scott and this is the URL of the data source. So I have deployed an application to my cluster that I want you to pay attention to is the database users and the URL. So the very first step is to create a configuration map called JDBCCM and pass override template that I have under the directory override. So you can see I have a JDBC test data source XML that is a temp and a version text. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm just replacing the secret, okay, with the username and URL. So now let's create that config map. So I run kubectl create the config map passing in the template.xml and now I'm going to label that config map. So now if I do a describe that I created a config map called JDBC CM and here you can see the template.xml as well as a version. Now the next step is to create the secret, create a database secret called DB secret, where I'm gonna set the username to Scott3 and the URL I'm gonna modify by making it Oracle DB2. And then I'm going to label that secret so let's describe so you can see there uh, my secrets okay now we need to bring uh, the domain down and uh, then I will apply the configuration overrides and bring the domain back up and then show how the overrides took effect in my domain YAML If we look at the server start policy, which is a way that we control lifecycle operations, I'm going to set it uh, to never, which will cause the operator to then bring down the entire domain. So let's apply this domain YAML. And if we look at the pods, we'll see that they are all terminating. Let's give it a chance to for the domain to come down. 
Okay, everything is down. Identical YAML, but I will uh, set the startup policy to if needed, which will cause the domain to come up, and I will define the overrides. So if I look at the startup policy, right, I'm setting that to if needed, which will cause the domain to come up. The override, I define the config map that contains my override and the secret where I created the username and, and URL. So let's apply this YAML. So as soon as the operator sees this change, it will start the introspector job and uh, the admin server and the two managed servers will get started. Okay, everything is running. So now let's go and look. And if we refresh, the user ID uh, got overwritten from Scott2 to Scott3 and the URL got overwritten with a new URL. Thank you very much.